Hey guys, it's Girlie again and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a co-creators tag or ang tinatawag nating question and answer portion na tinatag sa atin ng mga co-YouTubers. So, I was tagged by my sister Jackie and I'm gonna answer those questions right now. Question number one. So, ang first question is, what camera do you use? Ayun, good question kasi right now, ang ginagamit ko ngayon is itong phone camera ko which is the Huawei Mate 20. Mostly, ito talaga yung ginagamit ko for vlogging, especially sa travel vlogs. Kasi okay rin naman yung back camera niya and okay din yung front camera niya. Tapos, mas madali rin siyang dalhin. Mas portable siya compared sa mga DSLR. We have the Nikon D5100 pero ginagamit ko lang siya for filming ng cooking namin ni June. And then, meron din ako Panasonic Lumix LX5. Medyo matagal na yon year 20 13 pa ata yun or 2014. Hindi ko rin siya nagagamit kasi yung quality ng video niya, uh, medyo hindi, hindi na siya kasing ganda ng mga technologies today. Right now, as of the moment, hindi pa ako sumasweldo sa YouTube. So, hindi pa ako nag invest ng mga magagandang camera for, for vlogging. So, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully soon, uh, medyo matagal pa ata yan, pero we just pray and magkakarantay niyan. Question number two. Okay, so ang next question is, what editing system do you use? Medyo di ko get. Uh, <laughs> ang question ba is editing system or editing software? With regards to editing system, uh, I use mobile phone and my laptop which is the MacBook Pro. For the editing software naman, ang gamit ko for my mobile phone is it's either KineMaster, PowerDirector, or the Viva Video Pro. So, pag may mga effect, effects or mga uh, themes, minsan ang gamit ko is Viva Video Pro. Pero mas madalas, yung gamit ko is PowerDirector. For KineMaster... Hindi ko siya masyadong nagagamit kasi madalas siya nagahang sa phone ko. For my MacBook Pro, ang gamit ko is Adobe Premiere. Minsan lang mag-edit sa MacBook ko. i5 lang kasi yung MacBook ko. So, medyo mabagal yon sa pag-render and pag-export ng videos. So, mostly, ang gamit ko talaga is PowerDirector. And that's it. And for our question number 3. So, ang question number 3 is, do you use artificial or natural lighting? Depende kung travel vlog or vlogging outside, syempre natural lang yan. Hindi naman ako nagdadala ng mga ring light or uh, source of light pag nasa labas. So, natural lighting lang lagi kapag outdoor vlogs. So, ngayon kapag uh, indoor, <laughs> indoor vlogs. So, kapag, ayan, kung kagaya nito na nag-vlog lang ako sa loob ng bahay, I use artificial lighting. Uh, actually, wala pa akong matinong setup, wala pa akong ring light. So, ang gamit ko lang ngayon is itong, <laughs> itong flashlight ng aking power bank. And I think soon bibili ako ng ring light. I think mura na lang siya ngayon uh, sa Lazada. May November 11 sale. So, inaabangan ko yon and hopefully, makakita ako ng matinong ring light doon na sa mura lang. For question number 4. Top item on my filming wish list is the gimbal. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang dami kong mga shaky videos. Especially kapag travel videos. So, I'm aiming na makabili ako ng gimbal soon. Hindi ako expert sa paggamit ng mga ganong gadgets. Pero, I will try to learn and baka bibili ako soon. So, that's actually on top of my list with regards to equipment. With regards to plan naman, what do you mean plan? Siguro, kung plan na lang kung ano mga next vlogs. I'm, I'm planning to talk about dev related, like web development related. Not the coding part, but I'm planning to talk about some tips or a life of a programmer. Basta something about um, career. 
career on technology or web development specifically. Question number five. What is your favorite day of the week to film? Actually, wala. <laughs> Kung kailan lang yung free time, kung kailan lang trip ko, kung kailan lang may maiisip akong bagong ideas na gustong gusto ko nang i-film, ayun, nag-film ako. Medyo mahirap na mag-film kasi dito sa bahay kasi wala akong studio. So, kung kailan lang mayroong chance, ayun. And question number six is, Yes, yes, I plan my videos. I write it in Google Drive. I create a document for for all the ideas that I'm thinking. Yeah. For question number seven. Kung vlogging indoors like this, two hours or more? Basta more than two hours. Kasi pag nag-vlog ako, ano talaga, impromptu. Walang plan. Hindi ko siya sinusulat. Well, I, I said, pinaplano ko yung vlogs ko. I mean... Pinaplano ko yung kung ano yung i-vlog ko, like title only. Yung script wala akong ganun, so kung ano lang yung maiisip ko habang nag-vlog ako and kung ano lang yung gusto kong sabihin, yun yung sasabihin ko. So, marami akong mga take one, take two, take. <laughs> Madalas, nawawala yung idea. Umaga, nasa isip ko na siya pero hindi ko masabi ng diretso. Question number eight. How long does it take you to edit an average video? With regards to editing, depende yan kung pag cooking, madali lang yun kasi ano lang naman yun eh, step by step. Kapag travel, medyo matagal, siguro around 6 to 8 hours. Uh, gusto ko detail by detail na may flow yung travel video ko. Kung mga ganito, siguro 3 to 4 hours lang yun. Mabilis lang. Kung mga ganito kasi wala namang masyadong mga effects Giniagawa mo! Okay? So, that's it for question number 8. Question number 9. Favorite type of video to film is travel. Travel vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi yun, wala na rin. Nagkukwento ka lang eh. Kung baga kung ano yung napapansin mo, kung ano yung na-explore mo dun sa labas, kung ano yung kailangan mong ikwento dun, yun lang yun. So, hindi mo kailangan ng mga, ano, mga malulupitang ideas, ganun. Basta kung maganda yung pinuntahan mong place, eh, di kuha ng montage. Montage. <laughs> Pero, ayan, hindi pa talaga ako gaano ganun kagaling pagdating sa mga montage, montage na ganyan. Pero, we're improving it. I'm improving it through experience. So, for our question number 10. Do people at your work or school know about your channel? Yes. Nung una, hindi. <laughs> Siguro three months after kong mag-start, pag-uusap na sa office regarding mga vloggers, ganun, ganun. So, some people are planning to vlog, ganyan. And it became so awkward for me to talk about my channel. So, that's the time, di pa nila alam. But, after siguro six months ko sa office, um, I revealed. <laughs> so, pinost ko siya sa social media and hindi ko filter yung mga uh, workmates ko. So, ayun, nalaman nila na meron pala akong YouTube channel and it's a good thing na hindi naman nila ako binabash or <laughs> hindi naman nila ako pinagtatawa na <laughs> ganun. Okay naman na malaman ng office mates ko na meron din akong channel kasi supported naman nila ako. Uh, supportive naman sila with my YouTube YouTube vlogging career. <laughs> okay naman sila doon and at least meron akong napagtatanungan if ano, ano meron bang kailangang improve, meron bang kailangang iwasan. Meron din naman silang mga ideas na binibigay sa akin na gusto ko ring gawin and meron silang mga suggestions. Maganda rin na nasabi ko sa kanila yon And um, nakakatuwa kasi minsan mga kasalubong ko sila and sasabihin nila sa akin, uy, napanood ko yung video mo. So, nakakatuwa kasi creation mo yun and it's really good to hear na natutuwa sila dun sa video mo. Okay guys, so for our question number 11, process of thinking of a video idea, uh, lumalabas lang eh. Kumbaga, 
every time meron akong gagawin and parang meron merong idea na lumabas sa isip ko and parang habang nandun ako sa moment na yun, naiisip ko kung ano yung mga sasabihin ko. Ganun lang. Hindi ko siya sinusulat. Question number 12. Do you feel awkward filming in front of other people or in public? Yes. Well, kapag nasa harap ako ng family, okay lang. Parang, I don't feel awkward at all. Uh, but, kapag nasa harap ako ng friends or nasa harap ako ng office mate, I really can't do that right now. I'm in progress. <laughs> Again. Again, I'm in progress. Kung mapapansin niyo yung vlogs ko is with my family or it's either um, I'm vlogging outside pero no one knows me on that place. So, yes. And for our question number 13. So, right now, wala pa. Wala pa akong nakausap with regards to collaboration or creating video. Hopefully soon. So, if anyone wants, we can do that and bear with me. Kasi, sabi ko nga, take one, take two, take three, take four. <laughs> okay, guys. So, patapos na tayo, guys. And we move on to our question number 14. What is your subscriber goal by the end of the year? Subscriber, subscriber, <laughs> subscriber goal, wala. Walang subscriber goal by the end of the year kasi currently I'm around 640 subscribers. Ang requirements kasi ni YouTube is 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours. So, madali na lang yung subscribers. Ang mahirap is yung watch hours which is uh, kung i-compute mo yun, 4000 watch hours is 240,000 minutes. And right now nasa around 15% pa lang ako ng requirement. So, I don't care about the subscriber count right now. Ang focus ko is the watch hour. And then last, we have question number 15. Okay, so time for tagging. Ang itatag ko next is Oh My Keke, My Cousin Mariel. Yeah, you can do this. <laughs> next is Precious of Free Vlogs. And then si Yin Sung Ping of Cebu and si I of Hey Wala Tiyo Channel. Yon. So you can do this guys and thank you for watching and I hope I'll see you on my next videos. Bye!